they're like us to a degree. It's just we're all online, our systems are into Whereas when we deliver money to Apex, they look at the reference of what I put on the payment. Because I'm paying Apex, I'm not paying your account. With an Apex bank, they have a bank like I do with RBS. So when you pay me, you pay to VFX with RBS. Whereas when I pay Apex, it's BMO Harris Bank. So Apex will receive the money, they've got people in their accounts team, they'll look at the references on payments, and then they'll credit your money. So because it's a manual process, you've got to give them 24 hours. That's why I say to people, that's why it's not there, that's it. But they're pretty good. Um, with regards to paying Apex, they are very, very strict with their KYC policies, um, which you have to be in this day and age, and with regards to making transfers. So nine times out of 10, I'll always read, set the club up for you and set up the um, references for when you pay credit Apex, because otherwise, you, a lot of the clubs when I first started working with were having a, a lot of difficulty delivering money to Apex. And Apex are very strict with what you put on the reference by order of what customer. So we've nailed all that. Everything goes through really smoothly now. So um, I think from the people we've been dealing with, uh, and I get a lot of positive feedback. Everyone's saving money, easy, and there's no grief. Um, I could show you the platform, but it's not. It's, I think it's an issue with the firewalls here. It's not blocking me getting in. But um, with regards to buying currency, as Owen said, um, you can buy currency with us in two ways. Um, and, it's, and it's not over complicated. You've got spot transactions and forward transactions. A spot transaction is something you've probably done your whole life. Probably the people who flew over to this meeting did it at the airport. You have euros, you want to buy some sterling. You give someone euros, they give you sterling, done and dusted, got your money. And that's what we generally call a spot transaction. It happens on the spot. We term that in market T plus two. So any trade that happens on a Monday and is settled by Wednesday is a spot trade. Um, with regards to forward trading, you have the ability with us, private individuals don't have this facility, and not all corporate companies will have either, but we, we give you the ability to lock today's exchange rates for anything up to one year. Um, I, do, I do mention this to a lot of clubs and individuals, and some, some take advantage of it, some tend to not, because a lot of people, you know, you guys are investing, it's like my corporate companies, they're, they're importing products, they're buying stock from overseas, and they're sending it here. And people, because they make their money on buying and selling, they tend to take their eye off the ball with the exchange rate. And this, between, well, this time last year, <coughs> euro dollar was around 140. Euro dollar today is about 109. It was 105 last week. So you're talking a 25% drop in the value of the euro against the dollar. Um, sterling dollar, we've seen a 10% drop from this time last year. Sterling dollar was up at 170 this time last year. We're now back to. 150 bracket. So, currency, regardless of the size you're doing, that's irrelevant. It's still important because money's money. So, you can protect yourselves, um, or if you want peace of mind at least, you can reserve the rate. So, so I can ask a question about the blocking in that connection next Wednesday. Yeah. Do you contain it? Do you see that the. No, no, no. When, no, no, unfortunately, unfortunately not. No. When you book exchange rate, it's like doing a spot trade. You, You've got to do a deal today, sterling dollar, one pound is 150. If you like that rate, you want peace of mind, you can just take that rate and freeze it for anything up to a year. Now, what I was going to say with regards to clubs, in, in, um, you get in there. Um, with regards to clubs, everybody has, generally speaking, they're doing monthly transactions. So if, if the rates of exchange were particularly good, and you'd, you'd like to know how many dollars you're going to get each month, because you don't have, some, some people have seen the amount of euros they do per month drop 25% in value because of the exchange rate. So you can freeze today's rate for all of your monthly payments up to a year. So that you know exactly, as a club, you might be doing 5,000 euros a month, 5,000 pounds, 1,000, whatever. But by fixing the rate, you know exactly, when everybody pays in the euros, we deliver dollars at the same rate. Do you offer advice on what you think currency can do? Yeah, we do. I mean, we, we're a regulated company anyway. A lot of the members of staff are regulated as well. So. He told us when it was 1.4, it was gone down, and it went down to 1. Yeah, so if if yeah. people ask, naturally, we'll give opinions. I mean, we've yeah. got people who, I mean, we've got clients who trade currency for, for profit. I mean, you guys aren't doing that. You're doing it for a deliverable purpose. You need dollars to invest with uh, Apex. So, but if you want an opinion on the market, yeah, of course, <coughs> we'll, we'll give that. I mean, we give market daily market reports as well. Um, but, you know, a market's a market, unfortunately. They do move. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, I mean my, my main client base is corporate institutions. I've got 
airlines and offer a coup, they use me for their payroll or purchasing. So we, we mainly, we are a delivery works X house. Clients will use us, predominantly corporates really, for the purposes of importing export really. So we give you the money from our account and you then pay it over, is that how it works? Yeah, you, you guys will, as a club normally, the or clubs, yeah, or individually, people will send us whatever euros they're collecting or sterling they're collecting and when, when the club administrator decides that everybody's paid, then we'll do an FX, we'll convert those euros or sterling to dollar and pay APEX. Yeah, so that's, I mean, fundamentally, that's we, we're kind of bridging the gap between your accounts and getting it to APEX cheaply and quickly. Yeah, yeah, we do it for a lot of the individuals, some here are registered uh, individually. That's what some guys are registered individually for their own stuff that they're doing, whether it be their own business or to invest with APEX, and others to register as part of a club. To go on to Ed, further Edgar's point, if you wanted to do it because you were going abroad for a couple of weeks, would you be, or is it not, is it we, we, too big amount? We don't discriminate on size of currency. Um, I mean, because of Owen, because you actually got a better deal than you should have in, to a degree because of the volumes you guys do. But because there's a lot of people, we, we trade you very close to market. So believe it or not, even on some trades for some clubs, we actually lose money because we cover the transfer costs. We don't make it, but other people do volume. So it all balances out. So collectively, you're all looking after each other to get yourself that sort of leverage. We don't do cash um, purely because of our regulation. We don't want to get involved with the MRLO money laundering issues with cash and delivering <laughs> cash and stuff. So if well, can you we take cash out the other end, of course, yes. If yeah. you had, if you said, oh, I'm going on holiday, if you rang me up and said, JP, can you do me some euros? The first thing I'd say to you, okay, have you got a euro account or do you have a friend or family where you're visiting and I'll just do you a wire right. transfer and you can draw cash. However, we are, I've been saying this, I feel like I've been saying this for about five years, which I have. <coughs> we are actually now about to launch a VFX branded currency card, which will benefit it benefit more people like Owen and that who are on the road and busy and um, a lot of my corporate clients who go to trade fairs abroad and want to put deposits down. So with our card, if you've preloaded your currency account with us, let's say you've put a thousand pounds into your VFX account. If you've got your card and you go anywhere to the States, anywhere in Europe, with that card you can pay a restaurant bill, settle an invoice, whatever you want to do. That when you pay for that card at the, at the cashier, instantly a transaction will happen back with us and it will convert whatever you have sterling you've got an account to the nominated euros. You bought something for 500 euros and the card will just take five, like a debit card, like a credit card transaction, so. Uh, how VFX compare with uh, other uh, internet services like currency fair, uh, currency fair, well, the other one uh, you want transfer wise? I don't know, I know currency fair. I mean, the currency fair will be with these, um, the cards that we're actually launching now, funny enough. VFX historically didn't deal with private individuals, we didn't deal with corporates. We were a lot higher up the ladder. Because we're the leaders of the online technology, we used to sell currency to these type of people. So they would come to us to use our systems to buy the haircut. They, they buy from us and then they sell. So we probably had a lot of people in business indirectly through a currency. So in terms of that, we, we're pretty big. Um, but the truth is, no one. No, I don't sell shinier euros than money corp or currencies direct. All these companies are pretty much the same. We all buy from the interbank and sell it, and we just take the spread. Okay. The, the, the main thing you want to know is that you're getting a good rate because they'll take a spread the same as the bank would, and collectively you guys do get really good rates in exchange. So. Yeah, um, just I can transfer to Chicago, Stockholm, yeah. through my bank. I don't know what they charge. I was going to send two thousand. $2,000. Say, say, uh, I actually, let's say I just transferred $5,000 actually. Where the, um, to show you what the platform I'm going to show you, but, um, there's my account now. So you went through a traditional bank? Well, I, I did in my bank did a wire transfer. Right. So oh, probably we're yeah, talking three or four percent spread. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it depends on your bank. I mean, if you're talking £2,000, the bank would probably take naturally three, four percent of the spread, yes. whereas with us, you're within half a percent of the market. And you don't pay transfer. We 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 trade um, every deliverable currency possible. We, um, we've got offices in we've got offices in Dubai. Uh, we've got offices in Poland. Um, we have a lot of local banks as well. We do a lot in Africa as well. So 
we have, if you do a trade with me here, I've actually got Naira in Nigeria that I can deliver instantly in our, in our local banks. We don't do currencies that are non-deliverable, so we don't do Russian rubles, uh, we don't trade Brazilian real, unfortunately, which I know you're going to come on to. We just had a club from Brazil register, mm -hmm. um, but, lo but they know they can't trade. No, everyone knows that because you can't do it. It's something you can't buy or sell. So they will do, I think there's a pretty much a decent peg on the Brazilian real to US dollar or even euro. So they're, they're just going to have to do it as a base currency with us. Any plans for Colombian peso? Um, <laughs> out there, they will be doing We don't trade that, I don't think. Uh, I'd have to check on our exoticness. But um, <laughs> <laughs> everyone out there, any of the corporates I do would, would, would ask their invoices to be priced in dollars. So any, any of the South American ones that I do, we, we transfer dollars there. Because a lot of them are pegged anyway to the base currency. JP, can I ask you a question? Slightly off um, the topic, but none of